Hello guys. Uh, this is Rip. Now I have a ROM to show to on my Samsung Galaxy S2. The ROM is called the Hydrogen. It's a uh, ICS ROM, as you can see over here. The Android 4.0.4, .4. and this is the mock Hydrogen ICS. The kernel is nature and this ROM is very fast, very fluid, battery efficient also. So I thought why don't I show you how this ROM is operated on. The notification bar, you can see it's quite different. You can adjust brightness from here and you have toggles over here you can hide the toggles using this setting and you can enter the settings directly by either pre pressing long hold on any of this icon or pressing long hold on the icon above the notification bar in the settings menu you will find the wi-fi has a switch over here just like in the notification you have a button you have a switch over here to directly turn on or off your Wi-Fi you have data usage you can set the data use according to what you like getting on the more you have the airplane mode the VPNs the T3 the Wi-Fi and the mobile networks <coughs> now these two things are very exciting and exclusive to this AOKP ROM. The ROM control over here has loads of options from user interface to functionality to status bar and even the tools. The user interface generally modifies how your ROM looks like. You can add a navigation bar just like a Galaxy Nexus down below. You can change what all you want in the navigation bar you can adjust its transparency, its width, its height, its glow, its color, everything in the general UI you can disable the boot animation you can allow 180 degree rotation of the screen you can change the LCD density screen that is the TPI you can enable volume options while when you adjust the volume uh, for example if you decrease the volume you can see here now if i want what options over here i'll take this you can see i have volume options over here so <coughs> you can adjust loads of things according to your wish even you can edit a custom carrier label a carry label is generally shown here you can change it using whatever you want you can type it over here you can use the back button to kill the application rather than just going back most of these options are easy to understand and you will get to them very easily the lock screen can be changed the lock screen is the general AOKP lock screen which is common to the Nexus <coughs> on the left you have camera button and right you have a lock button so wherever you get the same application get open you can change this application and add many so you got tons of options the power menu you can also change what options are there in the power power menu when you long press the power button you can enable disable whether you can use a power saver you can use a LED options to use the BLN you have the status bar to change all this stuff have over here you can uh, let me show you how I can change it let's say I don't want the alternate toggle want something like this I want to change it just to text 
so there are loads of things that one person can do you can choose what toggles to display you can order them like whatever you like so you you can change how the battery ought look like if you want a battery bar you can have a battery bar you can see here you have a battery bar about the notification you can change its color thickness and everything you can even change the battery icon to show just icon there you have the icon over here you can change it to just text it will it's showing you the percentage of battery remaining you can have icon with text icon with center text or even a circle mode like this I like icon with center text so you can do a whole lot of things over here you can even overclock your phone to a maximum of 1.6 gigahertz and you can even set a minimum frequency at which you want your phone to operate and you can choose a scaling gunner as how the phone should boost so uh, there are a lot of options in this room control which is the heart of this room then you have few other settings in the device settings like radio screen sensors which you can it just all the options down here are common to the old android platforms as well the launcher that comes stuck with this is the trebuchet you can enter trebuchet settings and change what you like it was developed and built by canagen the armor is quite pure and fluent so i think that sums up this room do comment and tell me guys how did you like this room